Republicans, conservatives, gather around. We, we need to have a little conversation about your tactics in recruiting people to your team. Listen, right after my Trump rally article went viral, I posted a video on this channel talking about how you change someone's mind. You can go watch that video. It details out the psychology of it and as much as I'm going to in a YouTube video, but the key point of it is in order to change people's minds, you have to appeal to their emotions. You have to appeal to the emotions because people make decisions emotionally and they justify them rationally. And and this is important because, listen, we have aligned interests now, and I'm hoping to play on some of your goodwill that I gained yesterday when I told you I was definitely voting for your guy in November. I, I'm, I'm trying to play on some of that goodwill so that we can have a conversation here about how you treat people when they exit the Democratic Party and maybe tiptoe into joining your team, because I will admit the vast majority of you are open, you're welcoming. I've had some of the most invigorating intellectual discussions that I've had re in recent memory with people that are conservatives, with people on the right. I find them refreshing. I like the debating the different points of view. And I really like that most of you were like, okay, live and let live. We can agree to disagree, but we can still be cool. It's been really, really refreshing and really nice. And I've enjoyed it. But some of y'all are mean. Some of y'all really are. And we're going to talk about just a couple of things that have happened to me in like the last 24 hours. And forget the last several weeks, um, but they're pretty indicative of, of what's gone on then too. Because listen, I've talked about, I've talked about the backlash I got from the left. I haven't really talked about some of the backlash that I've gotten from the right. And it's all incredibly unnecessary. Like the left, I understand. The left are like, you betrayed us, you're leaving the team, whatever. Like I can, I can, I knew that was coming. I had prepared for it. I prepared mentally for it. And so that wasn't surprising to me. I have to tell you though, what I was less prepared for was being insulted and called horrible names on the internet from people whose team I am trying to join. Okay. The thing of it is, is you need people like me on your team. You want to pull Democrats away. You want to pull independents away. Like, what are you doing, man? So let me talk to you about a couple of things that have happened to me just in the last 24 hours. Last 24 hours. We're going to look at, at uh, David Harris Jr.'s page first because he posted about me on his Instagram yesterday. He posted this screenshot of a tweet I sent out and I did, I did what people should never do. This is a reflection of the fact that I'm bored and I, and I shouldn't be bored. I have a lot of stuff to do, but like, you know, you're stuck in the house and you, you all know it's a, it's a very weird time. And, and I did something that people should never, ever do. I looked in the comments. Ugh, I know this is like totally my fault. I brought this on myself really, but let me just show you some of the wonderful comments that I got to read about myself. So from this dude, let me be clear. I don't like women that look like men and wear horn rim glasses. Now he's mocking my, let me be clear, I detest Mitch McConnell. Um, but listen, man, the amount of times that I have been called a man in the past several weeks, and there's nothing wrong with being man. I love men. I just happen not to be one. So do you think you win any points with me and make me feel good and make me feel about good about being a part of your team when you call me a man repeatedly on the internet? Probably not. How about this one? Is it, this woman is a fascist. No, no, she's really not a fascist. How about this one? Rosie O'Donnell look like. Well, thanks, man. You know, makes me feel good about being on your team. What's your doctorate in? S? No, it's in psychology. That, that one I've actually gotten a lot too is people like um, coming after my, my credential, which is like so silly because, you know, for... I'm not even going to get into that. Like, I like I think the doctor thing is so silly. There are reasons I use it. Um, but, you know, it's it's insulting. I worked hard for that, man. You relax. Um, this woman here, no offense, but I don't care what this woman has to say. That's innocuous enough. Like, whatever. But she and I got into a little back and forth where she was just, like, like being very defensive. Obviously not loved that much as a child. And just hurling insults. And it's like, you know what? Relax, man relax. I'm literally joining your team. This is not a welcome that is going to make people want to come onto your side. It just makes no sense. But this one was my favorite. Only a complete C, and I'm not going to say that word. I swear like a sailor. I swear like a sailor. I swear all the time. I have no issue with that. I don't even say that word. 
And yet, you people are calling me that word on the internet when I'm trying to join your team. And listen, man, like I'm a tough cookie. I don't need people to defend me. I don't need people to give me compliments. All that stuff, like whatever. If you do fine, if you don't fine, it doesn't really matter. But you're trying to win people over. And if this is the welcome that you give people, they're not going to come onto your team. It's just not going to happen. So that was one thing that happened. And then, then we have the Donald. Oh, the Donald. Someone emailed me this, that, that this happened, that my, another tweet I sent out got posted on here, whatever. Let me, let me just take you through some of the, the wonderful responses on this one. Um, so this guy wants to know, like, anyone know about her background? Listen, you want to know about my background? Just ask me, man. I'm not like hard to find. Trying to get a measure of her influence. She doesn't have influence. It's a regular girl. I have no in. <laughs> I have no influence. Trust me. Like you're not someone you need to worry about. Um, but but that one was like innocuous. It was some of the other ones that that really. You know, I wouldn't say they bother me, but I was just like, "What are you doing, man?" So a lot of them look like this, and this is something I have seen, dude. The amount of you that care about my haircut, like, really? Do you have nothing better to do than worry about my haircut? Let's let's look at let's look at what these people have to say. Soon she'll grow her hair long, lose the woke glasses, assume some type of caloric intake control, and morph into a pea. Listen, I know I don't know what that means. I know you guys all have your secret language. It's not a language I will be coming familiar with anytime soon. But no, no, she's not going to grow her hair. No, she does need new glasses, but she's probably not going to change them. And listen, man, the weight thing, do you guys like really, I mean, come on, man. Like you're all such keyboard warriors, like probably at home in your mom's basement, never getting laid. I'm just saying, but y'all don't have to take it out on people that are literally trying to join your team. Next level conversation, this guy says, which one of you alpha mega chads will convert her to dick? I'm not a lesbian. I'm not a lesbian. You guys are the ones that like, you don't want people making assumptions about conservatives and all this stuff. That's all I've heard. Like, why would you ever consume that conservatives are like that? Gee, I don't know. Why do you think I would assume that conservatives are like that? I'm not a lesbian, man. I'm married to a guy. I have been for nine years. Like I have, oh, we're not gonna talk about that, but like, you don't need to convert me to anything. And frankly, again, probably wouldn't do much for me anyway. Um, but posting this stuff on the internet is simply not helpful. She needs to grow her hair out. Nope. Lose 60 pounds and then maybe we can talk. Yeah, you guys are making me feel real welcome. I'll tell you what. I mean, she, her, he's, shim, zer, isn't gonna vote for Trump. We all know that. Well, yeah, she is actually gonna vote for Trump. She 100% is gonna vote for Trump. How about this one? This lifelong party member types, in my opinion, are dumber than S. Well, thanks. That really makes me want to join your team. Dear Fat D, make your own party. We're full. Are you guys idiots? Are you idiots? Really? Do you know how elections work? Elections are about getting votes. To get votes, you need the most people to vote. Are we really confused about how this works? And listen, man. Again, like these people, whatever. I don't need people to defend me. I don't even see. I don't need people to give me compliments all the time. I don't really care. And I can deal with these morons. But here's the thing. This is just stupid. It's just stupid. It makes absolutely no sense. You know, when I when I saw Brandon Strock at CPAC, one of the things he said he was he was talking about how he became really annoyed to say the least at the democratic party and all the lies that the media convinced him of. And he said, hell hath no fury like a gay man scorned. Well, Brandon, hold my beer, hold my beer because uh, I will be coming after the Democrats with the fire of a thousand suns. I am so angry at them. I really am. However, this stuff it doesn't make me want to be on Team Trump either. The thing of it is, it's like, I can't, our goals are technically aligned. I cannot wait to see the Democrats lose in November. I'm like chomping at the bit, man. But you're not going to get there by insulting people. You're not going to get there by turning people off. Our goals are now aligned. And whether I like it or not, we have to play nicely. And I don't really want to play nicely with you when you're insulting me on the internet. You know, one of the things that I got to do a couple weeks ago, um, and this was from CPAC, but I got to actually a couple weeks ago, go to one of Scott Pressler's trainings that happened not too far away from me. And Scott is so brilliant 
because he talks about welcoming people in with love. And he is so gentle with how he approaches people and how he speaks to people. So, I mean, this guy has found his calling. Such a smart guy. A lot of you could stand to learn from him. Stand to learn from what he's doing because he has the right idea. If you want to win in November, you need to win over people like me. And I don't I know you guys don't want to just win. You guys want to mop the floor like 40 states, 45 states. Man, and it's doable. What's going on right now? It is absolutely doable. I would love nothing more than to see the Democrats be absolutely shocked at how badly they get it handed to them in November. That's how I feel about it. But you got to make people like me want to play on your team. Salting my haircut, salting my weight, you know, telling me you're going to convert me to D. <laughs> my husband is plenty satisfied, I'll tell you what. Um, <laughs> it just does no good, man. It does no good. So cut it out is the moral of the story. Just cut it out. This is the unnecessary, completely avoidable nonsense. And I know I'm probably going to get a lot of flack for this video. I'm going to say, she just wants people to, to give her compliments. Me, 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 me. No, 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 no. I have worked a lifetime to become secure in myself so that I don't really give two flips what you incels in your mom's basement think about me. But it just doesn't make sense. We have the same goal. We need to be working towards it together. Stop insulting people. These are easy, easy things to do.